that has a berry on it he calls hackberry which would include of course china berries and mulberries so i think what i have been turning to dark wood has either been a chinese tallow or china berry or it may be even sweet gum um, the color looks kind of like sweet gum too but i finally got an app on my phone and looked at the designation of the bark on this and this is definitely hackberry the wood looks like hackberry so it's hackberry i'm going to try to keep the live edge on this um, the bark is really interesting a little bumpy and uh, i don't know what kind of shape i'm going for yet it's probably going to be kind of a shallow bowl because the piece is not very wide maybe like four inches deep so i'm going to give it a try see what i can get out of it um, this is also a twice turn project so you're gonna see here i'm rough turning it yeah, i actually rough turned this back in february of 2022 and i pulled it out the uh, first part of may 2022 so um, i checked the moisture meter uh, moisture reading was at eight percent all I did was bag it up in its own shavings and stuck it in a cabinet for a couple months. I think I turned it to about, uh, this one here was probably about 5 eighths of an inch. I believe this is about a 7 inch wide hole. And i to try to use a 10% rule. Um, things have been drying really fast. Usually a couple months now, it's been taking bulbs to dry that I have underneath my bench. Um, our humidity has been not real high this spring, so that helps a lot in it, I believe. So let's see what comes out of this, and I'll uh, show you at the end how it turned out. Now I've pulled the piece out of the bag after it's dry and all I'm doing here is trying to true up the, the spigot, um, the tenon, so that I can put it in my chuck. And I usually, when I rough turn bowls, I turn a straight tenon about a half inch long. <clears throat> my chuck will, will take that, that way I can get a good bite on it. 
And then when I finish turn them, I usually go with the uh, dovetail tenon. Seems to work pretty good. I've had problems with the mortise sometimes breaking out. I'm just going to shape the outside of the bowl now and uh, I'm going to keep the tail stock in place just for extra safety. Um, trying to throw it pretty, pretty fast here. There's a lot of uh, bumps, let's say the piece warped quite a bit. So I'm just going to do a pull cut down here so that I can try to get, get at least part of it smooth so I can get the chisel turned around and get the bevel riding on a push cut and then I'll get it finished shaped.
I want to thank you for coming and watching my video today. I really do appreciate it. Um, I finished this with three coats of Waco Danish oil. I wanted to see what the oil would look like on it. Uh, I've been using wax finishes for a while now and I just wanted to try an oil finish. Um, hope you like it. Leave some comments. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thanks for watching again.